Semper Fi everyone, and welcome to the latest installment of Recon Jack. I'm your host, United States Marine Corps veteran and living historian Chuck Lynch. On today's episode, I'll honor U.S. Marine Medal of Honor recipient John Lee Canley, who was awarded the U.S. military's highest honor for his actions in January and February 1968 during the Battle of Hue. John Lee Canley was born in Caledonian, Arkansas on 20 December 1937, but he was raised in nearby El Dorado by his father, who was employed at a chemical plant, and his mother, who worked as a restaurant manager. In 1953, Using his brother's paperwork, he enlisted in the Marine Corps from Little Rock, Arkansas when he was only 15. During subsequent service in South Korea and Japan, Canley demonstrated exceptional integrity and devotion to duty, rising to the rank of gunnery sergeant. He shipped to Vietnam in 1967, serving with A Company, 1st Battalion, 1st Marine Regiment, 1st Marine Division. By the end of 1967, Canley had already become a legend among his fellow Marines. During the Battle of Conthene on 15 December 1967, Alpha Company came under intense enemy fire and several Marines were wounded, including the company corpsman. Lance Corporal Eddie Neese remembered, then out of the clear blue, Gunny Canley comes with his slow methodical walk that he had. He came down with rifle shots going off and picked up the corpsman and took him back to the rear. Everyone had a story to share about Canley's heroics in action and his total fearlessness, but he was a quiet and humble man who never sought to draw attention to himself. His attitude under fire was, if today's my day, then come get me. On the morning of 31 January 1968, Alpha Company was loaded onto trucks and pushed north to provide relief and reinforce the U.S. and South Vietnamese forces under siege in Hue. As a convoy approached the southern suburbs of the city, they began to come under increased sniper fire. As the Marines crossed a canal just a few hundred feet inside the city, the enemy attacked them from both sides of the road. In one village, the troops dismounted and cleared the houses on either side of the main street before proceeding. The Marine convoy stopped several times to eliminate resistance and heavy house-to-house -house and street-to-street -street fighting before proceeding again, a fact that is still taught to Marine recruits at boot camp. During this fighting, the company commander, Captain Gordon Batchelor, was wounded. In response, Gunnery Sergeant Canley, who stood 6 feet 4 inches tall and weighed more than 240 pounds, assumed command of the company. He and his de facto executive officer, Sergeant Alfredo Gonzalez, led the Marines in the defense of the convoy. On 31 January, Canley rushed across fire-swept terrain to carry several wounded Marines to safety. Seeking to motivate his Marines from a perilous charge, Canley would famously challenge the Marines around him. Do you want to live forever? Leading from the front, Canley performed many acts of heroism over the next week. During his time in command of the company, he led multiple attacks against entrenched enemy positions in the city while also carrying wounded Marines through hostile fire as a convoy carrying Alpha Company pushed into the city. On 4 February, Canley and Gonzalez led their men in an attack on an enemy-occupied building. Gonzalez, who had been severely wounded the previous day but refused evacuation, continued to lead from the front, single-handedly silencing enemy positions until he was mortally wounded. With Canley's endorsement, Gonzalez would receive a posthumous Medal of Honor in 1969. During the fight on 3 February, in the face of fierce opposition, Canley got above one strong point and dropped a satchel charge on it, which forced a retreat. Two days later, during a battle at a hospital, Canley twice scaled a wall in full view of the enemy to carry wounded Marines to safety. Enemy fire wounded him twice as he worked to rescue those Marines. Through this week of unrelenting combat, the first week of the Tet Offensive, Canley is credited with saving the lives of more than 20 Marines. We'd all be dead if it wasn't for the gunny, Marine Private First Class John Legato remembered. Wherever he went after the battle, Canley was sure to be regaled with cries of, You saved my ass, gunny. Despite this, Canley was not immediately awarded the Medal of Honor that he had earned in Hue City. Instead, he received a Navy Cross in 1970 for his actions. Since Gonzalez and others who would have been in a position to testify on Canley's behalf had been killed in action, there was a lack of accredited eyewitness testimony. Some paperwork was also inadvertently misplaced, and many of the Marines whose lives Canley had saved were never asked about their experiences. 
Above all, Canley himself never sought recognition and refused to talk about what he had done. Attaining the rank of Sergeant Major, he would retire from the U.S. Marine Corps on 23 October 1981 and return to his family and three children. Ultimately, it came down to a concentrated push by the Marines who had served with Canley to launch Operation Gunny, a campaign to get him the Medal of Honor he so richly deserved. After 13 years, his Medal of Honor eventually received legislative approval. Representative Julia Brownlee sponsored a private bill in Congress for Canley's Navy Cross to be upgraded to the Medal of Honor. On 21 December 2017, the House of Representatives waived the five-year time limit for the award of the Medal of Honor, and the Senate later took a similar action. Secretary of Defense James Mattis recommended the upgrade to President Donald Trump, who approved the award in July 2018. On 17 October 2018, President Trump awarded the Medal of Honor to Sergeant Major Canley, and his citation reads, The President of the United States of America, authorized by Act of Congress, March 3, 1863, has awarded in the name of Congress the Medal of Honor to Gunnery Sergeant John Canley, United States Marine Corps, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty in action against the enemy while serving as Company Gunnery Sergeant Company A, 1st Battalion, 1st Marines, 1st Marine Division, from 31 January to 6 February 1968 in the Republic of Vietnam. Company A fought off multiple vicious attacks as it rapidly moved along the highway toward Way City to relieve friendly forces that were surrounded by enemy forces. Despite being wounded in these engagements, Gunnery Sergeant Canley repeatedly rushed across fire-swept terrain to carry his wounded Marines to safety. After his commanding officer was severely wounded, Gunnery Sergeant Canley took command and led the company into Way City. At Way City, caught in deadly crossfire from enemy machine gun positions, he set up a base of fire and maneuvered with a platoon in a flanking attack that eliminated several enemy positions. Retaining command of the company for three days, he led attacks against multiple enemy fortified positions while routinely braving enemy fire to carry wounded Marines to safety. On 4 February, he led a group of Marines into an enemy-occupied building in Hawaii City. He moved into the open to draw fire, located the enemy, eliminated the threat, and expanded the company's hold on the building room by room. Gunnery Sergeant Canley then gained position above the enemy's strong point and dropped in a large satchel charge that forced the enemy to withdraw. On 6 February, during a fierce firefight at a hospital compound, Gunnery Sergeant Canley twice scaled a wall in full view of the enemy to carry wounded Marines to safety. By his undaunted courage, selfless sacrifice, and unwavering devotion to duty, Gunnery Sergeant Canley reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and the United States Naval Service. In addition to his Medal of Honor, U.S. Navy Expeditionary Sea Base USS John L. Canley, ESB-6, was named in Canley's honor. Sergeant Major Canley died at the age of 84 on 11 May 2022 at his daughter's home in Bend, Oregon. On receiving the award and speaking as a true warrior, Canley stated, It's more about them than me. This is about the young Marines that sacrifice so much. I just happen to be their leader. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Recon Jack, and perhaps you've learned something new. Stay tuned for more episodes as I continue to explore the hallowed history, tradition, and individuals of the United States Marine Corps. Please feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and leave a comment in the section below. I always enjoy interacting with you folks and seeing the growth of this channel. Also, don't hesitate to tell a friend or family member or email me directly to recon underscore jack at hotmail.com. Until next time, Semper Fi and carry on.